Piranha Plant. I don't think this has ever even happened on Elite Smash. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sakurai is like checking the data. He's like, yeah, he's right. He's like, hey, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the the odds are not in the favor, but it's no, true. No, not at all. So Piranha Plant, let's uh, let's talk about this character, right? Because I, 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 have a, I, have a, I have a funny idea. So mm -hmm. are you familiar with the game Multiverses? I am. So there's a character that got announced recently called Banana Guard. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, the community was very split on that character getting announced. Because it's like, this is such a meme character. There's so many other characters you could have picked from this universe, but you picked Banana Guard. But it's like, literally, it's the, it's the Piranha Plant of the game. Yeah. But I love Banana Guard. And, and, I love, and I love Piranha Plant. When Piranha Plant was announced, I was over the moon. I was laughing my ass off. Every game needs to have its joke characters. I mean, yeah. Smash, 4, or Smash 64 had Jigglypuff. And Melee had Ice Climbers and Pichu. Yep. Like, both of those were like, why were these included? You're gonna get mad at Piranha Plant, but not Pichu, bro. Like people are yeah. so hyped when they saw Pichu in this game, but then you see Piranha Plant, it's like, oh, a unique move set. No, I don't want that. It's because of nostalgia, Austin. It's because they want Waluigi, bro. That's and all it was. That's people all it look at this. They look at perfect Sprite Man, and they go, mm, no, thank you, not for me. <laughs> and that's my guy. People don't know what they want because the second they ask for uh, Waluigi, he's gonna be broken. He's gonna be annoying to fight against. People are gonna start to oh, hate him. That, that's he's it. gonna be so annoying. He was broken in Mario Tennis. He's gonna, you, you bet he's gonna be broken in Smash. They should just give him all of DJ's normals. I'll be honest. He's got the legs <laughs> for it. <laughs> hey! He got, he, got he, got, he got nerfed. He got nerfed. It's fine. It's hey, fine. hey, hey, hey! Imagine. Piranha Play started to bring that out too. So this matchup is a lot of what we've been seeing, right? Uh, James is playing like the long range game, trying to connect these bombs, these fire arrows to pop up back, Piranha Plant, and be able to get combos off of them. Yeah, this is kind of tough because Piranha Plant is a character that, like, <laughs> True to the way that they've designed so many characters in this series, which I take a personal gripe with sometimes, at times, that, you know, Piranha Plant plays like his games. And it's like, if you come over to me, you're going to be in trouble. But the problem in these matchups where he's going against a zoner is that they don't have to come to him. And if they do, they do it on their terms where there's a boomerang or an arrow out. Like, Toon Link definitely has a lot of tools to make it so that he doesn't have to fall into a lot of the traps that make Piranha Plant an actually relatively dangerous character. Because he's scary if you get up close to him. But if not, uh, nothing's really that threatening. Yeah. Uh, that jab, okay, we rolled right back into it. That's a little threatening, you know? A little bit of a rapid jab there. Not, little, enough to, oh. not enough to get the kill, yeah, right? But the thing is, Piranha Plant thrives on being able to try to get those setups with the Patui, specifically. That, mm -hmm. that little spiked ball is so good. Being able to, like, do as an edge guard. But there hasn't been opportunity Woo. for Beck to get set up. Hurricane spin, though, being able to take that stock. And a three stock to one lead, again, kind of being emblematic. I, I do want to go back to that Patui, though, because that, that move right there, it may not look it, but that's just simply one of the best moves in the entire game. Yes, agreed. If especially, like, right here, it's going to be good as an edge guarding tool, but we're not going to go for it because, you know, we got the edge guard anyway. Yeah, he's already dead. He's done. And he's going to take a seat in the pot. We're on a plant. Yeah, I mean, also, I would not really consider a comeback character. He doesn't really have a ton of those, like, roots that you can put somebody into the vortex, right? You spin them around in the washing machine, and then, you know, all of a sudden you're back into the game. Like, you're not a Roy or a, you know, a Steve or a, really, like, even a Marth, right? You don't think of him as a comeback character, but, yeah, you land a tipper, and then everything could be okay. But Piranha Plant just does not have that explosive potential. Yeah, that, that, that's a very good way of putting it, right? He doesn't really have the, I'm going to, like, neutral skip and I'm going to hit you and you're going to combo into a zero death. He's, he's not that type of character. Yeah. He's more passive. Damage over time is the is the idea with yeah. him, right? Is that you just need to be it, it's it's more about making your opponent lose than it is about beating them. Which, you know, it is a way to win, right? But you need to find ways to make your opponent trip over your own feet. It's why he's one of those weird characters that you don't see very often. It's because in Smash Ultimate it is not a matchup-based game. You are trying to... There are too many matchups to cover. 89 right? characters! There are 89 characters. And you are going to find the most success in this game by saying, my character has a solid game plan, and I want to apply it to as many matchups as possible. And Piranha Plant is very much a, I want to check these specific things that you are doing. And then you also learn how to fight against Steve. And, that, and that, matchup Steve. Is, that matchup is drastically different than the rest yeah. of the game. Does not Yo, that play jab? Like the wait, 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 wait. I've never just seen Piranha Plant go for jab. It sounded like a machine gun. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Woo! Take the sick as well, the parry, and then getting that forward smash out afterwards. This is that Piranha Plant game plan, right? If, look, if we're able to see Beck get a lead here, right, 
Piranha Plant with the lead is an entirely different animal than Piranha Plant trying to make a comeback. Because so you can chill back. Exactly, right? You have to come to me. I don't care if you have those projectiles. I'm just going to block them all. The point blank boomerang to pop him up. Oh, he's the bomb and kiss. That would have been the sickest setup. Patui definitely would have been fast enough and gone high enough to be able to hit there. It wouldn't have killed, so it could have been a combo. So I really respect that from Beck saying, hey, if you air dodge, stock's mine. I get to play with the lead. But... Now we're seeing ourselves in a pretty drastic spot here. James going for the up B, has all the control in the world. And Toon Link, again, one of those characters that's really good at just being able to keep you at arm's length with all the projectiles underneath the sun, the boomerang, the bombs, the everything. As well as having a pretty good potential kill power here. Going off stage into the <laughs> footstool. No, 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 no. You're not getting attacked. I'm not allowing you to no, attack. No, 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 no. In fact, I want to do it again. Yeah. Watch me do it again right here. Uh. Yo, Ooh. the back air, we're still alive though. Piranha Plant's heavier than he looks. He is quite a heavy character. Also, that back air, like that used to be a kill move. It's not anymore. That is a combo move above all else. Yes, 100%. Still a great idea though. Like I love being able to get that follow-up. And I mean, man, I, I love the way that James is just keeping this close, yep. right? 208 to 119, but either character could die any time. Grub throw, even with Max Rage, was not enough to get that kill. We're dropping the bomb right back on him, trying to get a landing. Good. They both went for the grabs. They just kind of teched it from each other. Two, two, two. You're eventually going to explode. Yeah, that that back air. You already saw how close it was hitting at an earlier percent, like right at the ledge height. And I mean, if you're on those town and city platforms, like this stage has a very high ceiling. But if you're on one of those side platforms on that transformation of the stage, it might as well have the lowest ceiling in the entire game. Oh, 100 percent. Being able to get sent up there, like from like the top platform, is a recipe for a disaster. We got another dash stack coming out here from Beck, looking for that next answer to find the finisher here, but is just not going to be able to find it. Mark 158 now on James. It, this is another one of those matchup things, right? And James, I think, is playing it really well, knowing that hey, that Patui is going to be one of the. It's one of the best edge guarding tools in the game. It really stops a lot of your routes from getting back. And even though he does lose that stock there. He was able to hold on to it so well because he's using a lot of these projectiles to cover his way back to stage, not letting Beck actually set up that Patui in a way that can take a stock. Yeah, and just already just like playing this lead to even higher heights. Oh, that's going to be a big punish. We tried to bet it all because we didn't want to go for that ledge. You could tell Beck was a little scared of grabbing onto that edge because of James' control with it using the bomb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, James is just playing so solid. I think we're really discovering that, like, you know, hey, we underrated Toon Link at the beginning. We thought, you know, this is the worst Link in the game, you know, and it, now it's just kind of like a crapshoot between all three of them. And trying to avoid that bomb, that is going to be death. Beck potentially on last stock of hey, the winner's bracket. He avoided the bomb, didn't he? Oh, he did avoid he, it. He avoided it. Mission accomplished, I guess. <laughs> so who's the real winner here? Uh, <laughs> not I, Beck right now. I, I hate that. <laughs> I, I hate it when somebody's like, you know, he got washed, but he landed a Falcon Punch. So, like, who really, who really won the set? Won. And I'm like, the not the Falcon not the player. Fal <laughs> <laughs> in his heart, though? Yeah, in his heart. Oh, wait, Ooh. wait, wait. That's huge. Catching the double jump. James is chilling a little bit too far off stage with a little bit of aerial mobility. And Beck is now turning us into a competitive set because of that early gimp. This is one of those things where it's, again, so dangerous to try to edge guard people in this game especially matchup dependent, right? Because right there, I think Beck has noticed, hey, James is going off stage real bravely, right? And really taking his time. Yeah, Piranha Plant usually loves to sit at the Wait. ledge. Oh my God, if that had spiked, that might've been it. I mean, the James went for the immediate double jump because he's recognizing he didn't want to go to the lore. And right now, a little bit of momentum is going towards Beck's side because James is playing a little fearful this time because he had such a strong lead, all of a sudden kind of leaving its grasp. We're getting called out by a lot of stuff. Going to use the armor to make that knockback a little bit less, but we're going to get called mm -hmm. out by the swing, and that's going to be Beck going down. Going down, but, I mean, not without a fight. By the end of that set, I felt like Beck made some really, really key adaptations. We saw it on that crazy edge guard. And then we saw a couple of times picking up on what we were seeing from Jabes and the disadvantage, really picking up on, I think we saw a lot of double jumps away, trying to set up those projectiles, uh, you know, just sort of the hold away from opponent and try to create distance game plan that a lot of zoners in this game like to do. And Beck was really picking up on that and saying, hey, so that means that I get a free tech chase here and I just run right up to you. Yes, it does. And that's exactly what he's going to be able to do to take home that set. Jabes. 2-0, almost lost it though because of the edge guarding, like we were saying. The, 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 we almost got it a second time too, forcing him to go for an early jump. He did not want to be below Piranha Plant. He saw what happened when he was below Beck earlier on.